Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this DM to DF reading. I do hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. So for today I'm going to be using my deck messages from your other self to get the messages from the Divine Masculine's true self from their heart space of what they want to share to the Divine Feminine's here it is my beautiful deck. And if any of you guys are interested in any of the decks that I've created, the website that you can purchase them from is in the description box down below so what is it that we need to know today what is it the divine muslims would love to show and express to their divine feminines in this moment of you listening and viewing this reading divine feminines what's coming through what is it they want to get off their chests nice clear message the main twin flame reading by the way gone up earlier if you're interested please trust me Please trust me, no matter what. And I'm going to get some more first before I go back on to that. Please trust me. When I look into your eyes, I can see through to your soul. Yeah, because I can see the truth. I can see the truth of who I am, who we are. And it is very, very overwhelming. And the eyes is the window of the soul. It's just very intense at times um, and the trust again I'm going to go back to what I always say to you guys is when you're trusting yourself that is when you're trusting your divine masculine because you're one they're not separate from you so trust yourself that knowing as I always say to you that love that you feel deep within you when you're being truthful to yourself when you're being the unconditional love that you are huh, when you're being you can trust yourself. You can rely on yourself. And that's what you're learning on this journey is to trust your intuition, trust that knowing and to have this relationship with God, to trust the journey, to trust in God. And that does get stronger and stronger as you're clearing the condition in the programming and the layers that have been you know, weighing you down for such a long time. Please trust me is what they're saying. There is so much going on behind the scenes. There is. You have to trust me. And if you find that really hard because of the Divine Masculine's behaviour previously, so view your Divine Masculine as your Divine Masculine, not of how they were before. Because how they were before was when they were in fear. And they're reflecting that back to you. That's what you have to understand. Um, thank you for loving me so deeply. Yeah, they're so very grateful for you loving them so deeply. They can feel the, this because you're one. And when you're loving yourself, they feel this even more. Huh? Because that's how it works. This is the relationship of self. It's not a relationship with somebody else. That your divine masculine comes into your life to wake you up to the greatest love of all. And that is to love yourself. And when you're doing that, they reflect that back to you. And they're saying, thank you for deep loving me so deeply. So they are feeling. So keep focusing on yourself, divine feminines. Giving this unconditional love to yourself. Not worrying about what your divine masculine is doing. What they're not doing. Because that's you being in the fear mode. Thinking that you've got to control it. That isn't you trusting. You make me feel complete, yeah. You make me feel complete because we are one. Hmm. You are my other self. Trust that. You know it anyway. I love you with all my heart. That is the truth, so trust me. I'm going to have to put these back together and then spread them open again because they're falling out of my hands. I love you with all my heart. They love you the way you love your divine masculine but because the behavior is different to how you're reacting or you know the way you are with your divine masculine you're doubting that but they're just reflecting back to you what's really going on within you because you share the same energy and you're both making your way home to your original soul blueprint but it starts with you divine feminines because you are the spiritual leader i'm ready to share the whole of me with you yeah I'm ready to share the whole of me with you. I love you with my heart. Please trust me. I am feeling your love and I'm so grateful. Thank you for loving me so deeply. I'm, you make me feel so 
complete. You make me feel complete, sorry. Our union is my biggest priority, yeah. They really are doing what it takes to have this union, but they have to create it within themselves first, and that's what they're doing. That is why it's their biggest priority, because they're trying to make fix themselves first. Because when you're sorted out within yourself, having this relationship with yourself and, and higher power, that's when you have outer union. <laughs> and I've cried so much since we've been apart, so they miss you so much. Because you are. They don't they don't feel um they feel miss that this missing piece when you're not with them. That's why they're saying you make me feel complete. You're the missing piece of me. So I do cry so much. It's so painful. Working through what I'm working through, clearing what no longer serves me, and you're not being there. And the fact that the way I've been with you previously, I've cried so much and I have hidden that from you. And I want to show you my authentic self. You can't make this stuff up, guys. It, this is so on point that everything that's coming through is saying the same thing. I'm sh I'm ready to share the whole of me with you. I'm I want to show you my true authentic self. Huh? Trust me. I am coming towards you. I am going to be showing you how much I love you and that I do love you with all my heart, and to show you how grateful I am for your love. But I do get tearful. I have cried in this preparation because it's been tough. And all the different, you know, things that go in my head. I don't want you to think badly of me. And I felt as if I'm not good enough for you. I feel, you know, missing you, longing for you, experiencing all these different emotions. And this love is so powerful. So... I know sometimes it's hard for you to, to believe divine feminines because it seems as if your divine masculine is just getting on with their life, but they have cried so much. But they have cried so much because they miss you and their, their, their ego, is their pain body is falling away. <laughs> it's dying. Of course they've cried so much. They feel alone the same as you do. They're on this spiritual journey. And what you're going through and what you're clearing filters through to your divine masculine because you're one soul. So I really do hope that this um, has helped you understand what's going on with your divine masculine um, at this time, this moment. And, you know, it's helped you gain strength and, you know, for you to trust, just to trust yourself. And if you would like any extra support on your twin flame journey, on your spiritual journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and so you understand me. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light and I love you all so very very much. See ya oh, what's your soul saying oh